Hi, it's Jesse Carr from Hutchinson Farm Supply. Today I'm gonna to do another product showcase. So this time is something not quite as popular as the MS-170 that I did last time, but this is still a very useful tool, especially coming into spring cleaning. Uh, so we're just gonna go over the setup process, the PDI, uh, what you need to know with regards to safety, general usage, and just some of the cool things about this product. As always, please let me know if you have any suggestions or comments. So the product I want to go over today is going to be the RB200. So this is the first in uh, the still series of gas pressure washers. So many of our customers might not be aware that it still makes a store product or that gas pressure washers are even a thing. So later in the video, I'll go over the differences between a gas pressure washer and an electric pressure washer and just where you would want to use each of those models. And um, I also want to focus on this one just because this is the only line from still that uses a conventional four stroke engine. Uh, so if you know what that means, great. If not, I will go over the important differences that you need to be aware of. So every still product goes through a full PDI before it goes to our customers. Uh, so this is the setup of the unit, the fueling, and just uh, an inspection to make sure there's no physical damage and that the unit runs properly. So this way, as soon as the customer gets it, they are ready to go. Uh, this also includes uh, when the customer receives the unit, they will get a full instruction of how to use the product properly, uh, the warranty, fueling, everything like that, and most importantly, how to use it safely. So as you can see, we've got a nice big box here. Cut these. So the unit comes mostly assembled. Let's get, take out the handle. Uh, this thing's gonna go on the rod. And everything else is underneath. In the box, we got the sprayer part, hose, And a bunch of random gadgets, your instruction books, safety guides, parts to assemble the handle, and a couple different nozzles, and the thing to attach uh, to like a detergent bottle if you need to. The unit of the box, we can see, there's your air filter, power switch, cord to start, oil tank. So to get the handle thing assembled, we're first gonna spin these on to the bolts. And then, that's all the way through. We come down here. And properly attach the handle. So that we got both sides of the handlebar installed. We are gonna take these, or two of these at least. We'll leave the third one off and you'll see why in a second. I'm just gonna put these in their storage thing. So match them up. Um, so these are the different uh, nozzles. So you can see they have like the different uh, degrees of, or like field of spray, I guess. So since 65 is like the most common, we're gonna leave that off for a second and you'll see why. So the next step is gonna be the detergent cable. So this will suck a detergent out of the bottle if you're trying to add it to whatever you're spraying to clean off your patio or car or whatever. Um, it's got some plasticky things that we're not gonna worry about for a second. And this is going to slide into the top of this thing here. So one of the sides has a gap in it, the other does not. So that is what your tube is gonna feed into. So once you get the hose fed through the top, it's gonna come on the bottom here, and it's just gonna hook on to this thing here with a pump. So while you've got the unit up like this, this part here, just gonna screw on there. Unfortunately, I can't hold the camera and film it at the same time, so use your imagination. So that completes the setup process. Uh, for most units, we would fill it up with uh, gas and oil at this point, run it through water and stuff. Uh, however, we're not gonna do that with this one. 
just because it's still below freezing, we don't want to stay with uh, water in it for too long. Um, any other unit, we would absolutely run and check. Uh, and this one, we will, just not until the customer shows up and gives us the okay. Uh, so I mentioned earlier how this is a four-stroke or conventional four-stroke unit. So that means you're going to put regular unleaded gas in the side. You do not need to mix anything and fill it up with oil as well. So there's a handy tag on here reminding you to add oil. Uh, so it basically works more like a car engine than your existing trimmer or chainsaw or anything like that. So with regards to safety, um, I'm not gonna go super in depth. I just wanna make sure you always read and follow the manual that comes with the book. So this will have all your safety information, all your safe operation, all your maintenance schedule, everything like that is in this book. If you have any questions, by all means ask us. Uh, this unit in particular actually comes with two since the uh, engine is manufactured by Kohler, so this actually comes with two booklets, lots to read. Uh, with regards to personal protective equipment, for this uh, specific type of unit, you're gonna want to use ear protection, because they are very loud, being an engine and all, and eye protection, as that water will blow your eyeball straight out. Uh, we have a nice selection of both in our showroom. Come take a look if you have any questions. Just make sure to ask us, please. So the obvious difference between a gas pressure washer and electric pressure washer is the uh, uh, energy type. So for example, your normal electric pressure washer, which is probably what you're familiar with, plugs into an outlet. Uh, the disadvantage of this is you would have to be near an outlet. They're not quite as powerful and uh, in terms of uh, pressure and water flow as a gas unit. A uh, gas unit being more expensive just because it's, there's more to it and you cannot use a gas unit in an enclosed space. So that's because uh, there's emissions, carbon monoxide, all that stuff. So I just want to run over a few key uh, specifications on the unit. So it's 2,500 PSI, so that's almost, uh, actually sorry, more than 50% more powerful than the RE130 Plus, which is our most powerful electric unit. Uh, it comes with a two year warranty for consumer use or one year for professional. Uh, there is no moto mix warranty as it does not use mixed fuel, it uses straight fuel. Uh, the hose is 25 feet and uh, the engine is 173 cc's. So that about wraps it up for today. I just wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video and by as always, by any means, if you have any questions, just give us a call at the dealership or come visit us. We're always happy to see you. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments on this video or ideas for future videos, please just leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks again for taking the time to watch, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.